what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? An American fitness guru is trapped inside of Dubai, unable to see his mother and his teenage son from a previous relationship in the U.S. His name, Jordan Bradford. He's 44 years old. He's facing a $68,000 fine or uh, up to seven years in prison, all because he posted the word bitch on Instagram and his ex-wife reported it to the police. His ex-wife is an Egyptian by the name of Sama Ismail. And she reported him for using the swear word on the Instagram post out of spite. You see, he and Sama has been going through it. She's tried to sue him on a number of occasions, trying to get money out of him, hundreds of thousands of dollars. She's told him that, hey, you know, my uncle is a judge and we can get things done around here. So... Jordan is going through it, man. Uh, if he can't pay the fine, he's going to have to serve their seven years in prison. Now, other things that you can do, other things that are known to be offensive in United Arab Emirates that could get you some time is if you post the middle finger from the WhatsApp, you can end up in jail. Also, you can't post pictures of people without their knowledge, even if it's in a crowd. You can get time, fined, or even tortured. I mean, they have reported cases of people being tortured. Now, exactly what did he post? This is the post. So I woke up today and heard the bitch made another case. That's all it took, and them folks came to get him. Wow, man, can you imagine what would it be like if that happened in America? Yeah, we wouldn't have no rappers. <laughs> no, we would have rappers. Just not that many. I mean, yeah, we'd have rappers, man. We, we, we got a lot of rappers out there that, that, keep, it, that keep it clean. But, but not just rappers, man. Instagram models. Just regular people, man. You know how people get on Instagram, on social media in the United States and act a plum ass fool. I mean, no tech, no manners whatsoever. And some people, man, they, they type in all caps and they just curse, curse, curse. That's all they do. They can't make one post without cursing. So it would be hell on wheels for Americans. I couldn't even imagine something like that. <laughs> Boy, you'd wipe out 99% of the population day one. You wouldn't have enough jails. You'd have to have concentration. You'd have to have camps, like refuge camps. I was about to say concentration camps, but that's what it basically would amount to, concentration camps. But man, that's crazy. My time in Dubai was quite different. I never worried about stuff like that. I used to go to Dubai uh, at least three times a year. Uh, back yeah, about uh, seven, eight years ago. So for about 10 years. I was out there all the time because I used to live in Azerbaijan, which is not far from Dubai. My son used to play in rugby tournaments out there. Every year he would be in Abu Dhabi uh, and they'd be playing against the French and Spaniards and all of that kind of stuff. So I used to be out there quite often and I never thought about that type of stuff. But then again, that, that was also before Dubai passed its cybercrime laws. They stepped their cybercrime laws up. I think it was 2012 is when they enacted those cybercrime laws. So, yeah, the word bitch is considered offensive in Dubai. Now, it's the, the crazy thing is that it's also considered offensive in the U.S., but 
being offensive in the U.S. is quite normal. So there's no, there's no real backlash for using the word. But yeah, man, uh, you got to be careful out there. But again, my time out there was was totally different. I can't imagine going out there and having to worry about what I'm posting on social media. Uh, I've also heard claims that even if you post something on your social media prior to traveling to Dubai or to the United Arab Nations, uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, UAE. You can still get locked up. The ex-wife is a piece of work. Classic basket case. Who said that? I never trust a big button smile. Man. Boy. She got him good. That is a vengeful woman. She broke into his private phone. Went through his private social media account without his permission called the police and he's the one who committed the cyber crime. <laughs> and she wondered why he called a bitch. No more talk.